What up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in Los Angeles at Flight Club with All Pro wide receiver Jarvis Landry. I've always been an Air Max 95, 97 type of guy since okay. I was still in my brother's shoes. Gonna do some sneaker shopping tonight. Gonna see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then uh, hopefully he's gonna buy some sneakers. Man, let's do it. Let's go. So Jarvis, growing up, what were your sneaker habits like? Fortunately for me, I had an older brother that was you know, just infatuated with shoes. So a lot of my, my, my big brother beatdowns came from wearing his shoes. He would wear a size 12 out and I wore a size 10 at the time. But I was always still in his shoes, you know, just trying to be, you know, the flyest kid yeah. <laughs> going to school, you know what I mean? But um, for the most part, that's how really my shoe, shoe game kind of started. So my you would wear, even if they were a little big for you, you would wear his? It didn't matter. Yeah. It didn't matter as long as I had them. As long as I had them, you know? Or in the one sections, a lot of people always love the ones. I think one is probably my favorite shoe. My favorite probably has to be like just the simple breads. Yeah. You know, the simple bread ones, just a clean look, you know, go with anything. Match so anything. you're not into kind of the crazy iterations they've been coming out with? No, I, I, I definitely am, but you know, the, the simpler the better for me, you know, and obviously when, you know, they release some, something that's, you know, like the off-white collection yeah. that they did with, uh, with with the ones, like things like that, you know, I'd definitely love to get into those. Absolutely. And what about some of the other models? We have twos, uh, threes. Threes, fours, uh, these right here. Snakeskin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember uh, my first Nike purchase off, the, off their Nike website was these right here. Really? Yeah, absolutely. That late in the game? That late in the game. That late in the game, honestly, man. Jarvis, even with a strong connect, yeah. is there some shoes that you couldn't get? Oh, there's a couple, there's a couple. Probably uh, the Fresh Prince. Okay, fives. Um, yeah, they were, they were kind of hard to get my hands on. And, and the cigars, they probably was definitely hardest to get the ha my hands on as well. Let me talk about growing up in Louisiana style icons. You know, I think Lil Wayne, who was it for you? Oh man, where I'm from is kind of, it was kind of, I don't want to say hood, so, it, it was it was Boosie, okay. little Jeezy, so it was Jabo jeans, white tees, baggy, yeah, baggy, five XL tees with the G Nikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mate, gotta have the G Nikes, so, right? You know, that was probably that was probably the, the the best swag. And then you know, Jordan came around, and you know, more tailored looks came around, I guess. And were you always into fashion? Honestly, man, it's something that I, I took after my brother for. Okay. You know, he was kind of one of the one of the people that, like I said, I always wearing his shoes. You know, getting beat down for it, but it's all good, you know, to this day, yeah. you know, it's all good. But um, at the same time, man, a lot, a lot of my fashion things just come from him. Jarvis, we're in the section that houses the most expensive and sought after sneakers. What, on this wall, some of your favorites? Uh, probably have to say... Because, yeah. Yeah, these right here. I suede on them. Everything about this, man. The X is on the back. We do it, they do it, they did it right. You know, of course, the Don C's. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get a pair you know, yet? I haven't got my hand on these yet. This is the first time I actually got my hand on these, so I'm gonna have to leave with these too. Jarvis, I'm noticing that you have the undefeated 97s on. This is gonna air later, but these aren't out yet. Yeah. Do you have a plug now in every city? I do. Really? I do, I do. I was fortunate enough to do some things with Uninterrupted and I uh, got an opportunity to go uh, to the Undefeated shop here. And uh, you know, they blessed me with these um, two, three days before they came out. Wow. So. It's, it's always good. It's always good. It's yeah. always a good feeling, man. Yeah, can't beat that. Are these one of your shoes of the year, you think? Probably, for now. Yeah. You know, for now. Changes you know, week to week, that right? And, that and these off-whites. I mean, they, they, they probably go hand-in-hand -hand for me because I've always been an Air Max 95, 97 type of guy since okay. I was still in my brother's shoes, so. One thing I wanted to talk about, of course you went to college with Odell, he's your brother, your best friend. Were you guys competitive in college with footwear? No, we weren't. Really? We weren't. We weren't. And we, how were you guys getting it? Was he getting a lot of shoes? No, we really, we in college, if we, we weren't wearing the LSU trainers, we were wearing flip-flops. Like, okay. you know, we really we wasn't really into shoes that much, you know, as far as just collecting them. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, now it's, it's endless. Yeah, now it's different. Yeah. Do you guys compare now? 
Man, it's hard to compare. He gets a he gets a lot of the exclusive things like firsthand. Yeah. You know, and some of the things just you know for me, I I, I go through him to get. Or, oh, so he's the know. plug. It was yeah. your older brother, yeah. and now no, Odell's the plug. Yeah, he's the brother too. So you know, we we keep it in the family. Absolutely. And I want to talk about the deal he signed with Nike. Did he consult you or like, yo, what should I do as a free agent? Or you found out when everyone else found out? No, we we have been talking about it. You know, it had been in the works and. You know, for me, just to see him, you know, do something that we've always dreamed about, to have an opportunity to have his own shoe and sign a deal with Nike. Yeah. You know, I think that that was the biggest thing, the biggest impact, and it's something that he's always wanted. We both always wanted, you know, and um, so to see him sign that, man, I, you know, it was a surprise to a lot of people, but we knew it was coming. You have such on-field swag and persona, Odell, too. Who back in the day when you were watching football coming up, did you look at as style icons on the field? Ocho Cinco. Ocho had the celebrations, yeah. you know, the gold cleats. I follow him on Twitter and one of his tweets where uh, when the league kind of like toned down the, the yeah. rules on the cleats yeah. for the game, he was like, can I have my fine money back? Right. You know, from yeah, all he, he missed that era because yeah. now you get to wear crazy cleats, but that poor guy was wearing custom cleats and getting fined nonstop, yeah. and now it's kind of acceptable. It's acceptable, but he kind of started the trend, man. He kind of started the trend. He's kind of one of the reasons that I want to play receiver, you know, and bring swag to the game and continue continue that throughout it. So it's good that the league kind of loosened up on that. And even now, this year, they even announced that they're going to get even more loose with the cleats, so that's yeah, good. Yeah, and they, they started last year with the uh, my cause, my cleats, with the stuff like that, yeah. but this year it's going to be it's gonna be something crazy. I got something special for them, too. Speaking of cleats, you brought these to set. Yeah. Have you wore these in a the game yet? I have not. I don't think they'll let me wear these in the game. Yeah, you can with spike, these, right? Spike somebody, yeah, no, nah, but you know, there's gonna be some pregame, some pregame things that we're gonna do. I wanna talk about Kikasso. Kikasso. Yeah. So what is the process like? Well, usually, you know, we come up with a plan, honestly, in the off season, we have to. He's so busy. A lot of the times, you know, if, if he's not directly working on mine, he's working on O's. He probably starts on these on Monday, okay. you know, and don't really get done with them until about Friday. Wow. And then he got to find a way to ship them to us. And what is this insult? Royalty with the LSU eye. It's courtesy of Nike. You know, they did their thing on that too. So we talked about everything. Now, the easy part or the hard part, you get the browser shelves, see what you want to cop. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Can I get these these in 12 and a half? You got these in 12 and a half? I'm sure you do. Of course. I'm sure I you got do. You. All right, appreciate you. Yeah, I got two. Got two. I'm going to need these two. 12. Gotcha. Shit, I'm good. I'm good? I'm good. Your total today is going to be $5,954.13. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you, man. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. So Jarvis came through, bought a bunch of instant classics. Oh. Thanks so much for taking the time. Appreciate you. And props to you, Gerard. He doesn't have to take your sneakers anymore. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Let's go.